Hello everyone. Today, we're diving into the world of a medication called fluticasone and salmeterol, commonly known by its brand names Adver, Erduo, and Wixilla. As with all our discussions, this is meant for educational purposes. If you have health-related questions or concerns, always reach out to a medical professional. Description Fluticasone and salmeterol, sold under brand names such as Adver, Erduo, and Wixilla, is a combination medication used primarily for the management of asthma and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD. Fluticasone is a corticosteroid that reduces inflammation in the lungs, while salmeterol is a long-acting beta-2 adrenergic agonist, LABA, that helps to open up the airways, making it easier to breathe. This combination is typically prescribed as an inhalation powder or aerosol, and it works by reducing inflammation and preventing bronchospasm. Approved by the FDA, this medication is used to improve symptoms and reduce flare-ups in patients with asthma and COPD. It's important to note that fluticasone and salmeterol is not a rescue medication and should not be used to treat sudden breathing problems. Instead, it is used regularly to control and prevent symptoms. Warnings Fluticasone and salmeterol come with several important warnings. Labas, like salmeterol, have been associated with an increased risk of asthma-related death. Therefore, this medication should be used only when asthma cannot be adequately controlled with a long-term asthma control medication like an inhaled corticosteroid alone. It's not intended for individuals with acute asthma attacks or COPD flare-ups, as it won't work fast enough. Those with severe milk protein allergies should avoid certain formulations due to the presence of lactose. Before taking this medicine Before starting fluticasone and salmeterol, it's crucial to inform your healthcare provider if you're allergic to any of its components. Discuss your full medical history, especially if you have had heart problems, high blood pressure, seizures, thyroid problems, diabetes, liver disease, osteoporosis, glaucoma, cataracts, or any infections including tuberculosis. If you're pregnant, planning to become pregnant, or breastfeeding, consult with your healthcare provider. The medication's effects on a developing fetus or nursing infant are not fully known, so it's essential to weigh the benefits and risks with your doctor. Also, Inform your healthcare provider if you have a history of weakened immune system or infections, as fluticasone can lower the body's ability to fight infections. Side effects All medications can have side effects, and fluticasone and salmeterol is no exception. Common side effects include headache, throat irritation, hoarseness, and cough. Some individuals might experience fungal infections in the mouth or throat, known as thrush. It's important to rinse your mouth with water without swallowing after each use to help prevent this. Serious side effects can include worsening breathing problems, chest pain, fast or irregular heartbeat, high blood pressure, and signs of an allergic reaction such as rash, itching, or swelling. Long-term use can lead to bone thinning, osteoporosis, especially if you don't receive enough calcium or vitamin D in your diet. If you experience any unusual symptoms, consult your doctor immediately. Additionally, there are risks associated with long-term corticosteroid use, such as adrenal suppression, and increased susceptibility to infections. Monitoring for potential side effects and regular checkups with your healthcare provider are recommended. Interactions Fluticasone and salmeterol may interact with other medications. It's important to inform your doctor about all medications, supplements, and herbal products you're currently taking. This includes other inhaled medications, oral steroids, diuretics, and medications for infections, heart conditions, and psychiatric disorders. These interactions can either increase the risk of side effects or reduce the effectiveness of the medications. Dosage Correct dosage is vital for the effectiveness of any medication. Fluticasone and salmeterol come in different strengths, and the dosage will depend on the specific condition being treated. For asthma, the typical dose for adults and children aged 12 and older is one inhalation twice daily. For COPD, the typical dose is also one inhalation twice daily, but the specific strength may vary based on individual needs. Always adhere to your doctor's recommendations and never alter your dosage without consulting your healthcare provider. Regular monitoring and periodic checkups can help ensure the drug's efficacy and safety. Avoid While on fluticasone and salmeterol, it's advisable to avoid coming into contact with people who have infections, especially chickenpox or measles, as the medication can make you more susceptible to these conditions. Avoid using other LABA medications concurrently without your doctor's approval. FAQ 
many wonder about the age restrictions for fluticasone and salmeterol. The safety and effectiveness of this medication in children younger than 4 years for asthma and younger than 18 years for COPD are not well established. It's always best to consult with a healthcare provider for any specific queries related to this medication. Closing That wraps up our overview of fluticasone and salmeterol. Remember, this information aims to educate and should not replace professional medical advice. Always consult with a healthcare provider for any questions or concerns. Thank you for tuning in.